deaths due to road accidents are a major problem in India. Every year in India, a lot of people in lakhs are killed due to road accidents. An even greater number are injured. Hello everyone, I am Manas Srivastava and you are watching UPSC Essentials of the Indian Express. And it's time for the case study of the week. Today's case study revolve around the issue of road safety and road accidents. We shall go beyond the case and discuss the relevance of seat belts while driving and also look into some good initiatives of India and at global level to avoid road accidents. We will also talk about the concept of Good Samaritan. We shall call our case study as Road Safety. Better late than never. Let's look at the case. Former Tata Group Chairman Cyrus Mistri was killed in a road accident on Sunday on the National Highway in Maharashtra. The tragedy has once again put the spotlight on high number of fatalities that Indian roads witness every year. So this is the case. Now let's look at the issue. The issue here is road safety and people's attitude towards seat belts. Now let's look at the problems. The World Bank noted in a report that with only 1% of the world's vehicles, India accounts for almost 10% of all crash related deaths. According to WHO, more than half of all road traffic deaths and injuries involve vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists and their passengers. Also, developing economies record higher rates of road traffic injuries with 93% of fatalities coming from low and middle income countries. In addition to the human sufferings caused due to road accidents, they also incur a very heavy economic burden on victims and their families, both through treatment costs of the injured and through loss of productivity of those killed in accidents. More broadly, road traffics have a serious impact on national economies, costing around 3% of the country's annual GDP. The tragic death of Cyrus Mistri came after the National Crime Record Bureau's Accidental Deaths and Suicide in India, that is ADSI, report. Some of the major points as per the NCRB's ADSI report are 1.55 lakh individuals died in accidents on India's roads in 2021 up from 1.33 lakh deaths in the pandemic lockdown year of 2020. Two-wheelers account for most deaths, that is 44.5%. Buses accounts for 3% of deaths in accidents. Speeding caused 87,000 deaths, accounting for over half of all deaths. Dangerous and careless driving was attributed as cause for 42,000 deaths. The maximum increase in number of traffic accident cases from 2020 to 2021 was reported in Tamil Nadu followed by Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra and Kerala. Now let's look at some of the solutions. For the solutions, we will be referring to the Lancet report. So, the Lancet series on road safety calls for increased political and financial commitments and for road safety to be included in mainstream development strategies. It is argued that this is essential in achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goal or the SDGs, included the target to half road traffic crash fatalities and injuries by 2030. Some of the major points in the Lancet study are New global and country level estimates suggest that routinely wearing helmets and seat belts, obeying speed limits 
and avoiding drunk driving could save between 3,47,000 and 5,40,000 lives worldwide every year. The benefits of more motorcyclists wearing helmets can save 5,683 lives in India. Interventions to reduce speeding such as infrastructure changes and electronic speed control could save an estimated 3,47,258 lives globally each year. Measures to tackle drunk driving such as enhanced drunk driving enforcement could save a further 16,304 lives. Improving seat belt use would have a particularly large effect on reducing road deaths. Talking about seat belts, let's look at a subcase which is the importance or the relevance of seat belts. A video which was issued in public interest by the Union Ministry of Road and Transport and Highways says wearing a seat belt reduces the impact of an accident by 80%. A study by Save Life Foundation and Nissan released in January 2019 recorded that only 7% of people in India always wear seat belts while sitting in the back seat. Another 26% wear it sometimes and the rest never wear it. Seat belts are compulsory in both the front and back seats. Section 194 Clause B sub clause 1 of the Motor Vehicles Amendment Act 2019 says and I quote Whoever drives a motor vehicle without wearing a safety belt or carries passengers not wearing seat belts shall be punishable with a fine of 1000 rupees. Unquote. There is no clear-cut reason for non-compliance. Three broad arguments which are usually presented are we don't care about our safety. We don't want to spend more on safer cars. We suffer from poor enforcement of the laws. But blaming irrationality for road fatalities is a dead end from a policy perspective. Now let's go beyond the case and look at some of the national and global efforts towards road safety. Firstly, India State Support Program for Road Safety by World Bank. The World Bank has approved a US dollar 250 million loan for seven states under which a single accident reporting number will be set up to better manage post-crash events. Secondly, Third, High-Level Global Conference on Road Safety for Achieving Global Goals 2030. It was conceptualized to have zero road fatalities in India by 2030. Third, Brasilia Declaration. India signed the Brasilia Declaration and committed to reduction in fatalities in road accidents. Fourth, Motor Vehicle Amendment Act 2019. It provides for constitution of National Road Safety Board to advise the central government or state government as the case may be on all aspects pertaining to road safety and traffic management. Fifth, Decade of Action for Road Safety 2021-2030. The UN General Assembly adopted resolution improving global road safety with the ambitious target of preventing at least 50% of road traffic deaths and injuries by 2030. The global plan aligns with the Stockholm Declaration by emphasizing the importance of a holistic approach to road safety. Sixth, Bloomberg Initiative for Global Road Safety or the BRICS 2020-2025. It aims to reduce road crash fatalities and injuries in low and middle income countries and cities by implementing a comprehensive set of actions that are proven to save lives. Finally, let's end this case study by understanding the concept of Good Samaritan. So who is a Good Samaritan? According to the Ministry of Road Transports and Highways, a good Samaritan is a person who, in good faith, without expectation of payment or reward, 
and without any duty of care or special relationship voluntarily comes forward to administer immediate assistance or emergency care to a person injured in an accident or crash or emergency medical condition or any emergency situation. A country should also have a good Samaritan law. A good Samaritan law protects good Samaritans from harassment on the action being taken by them to save the life of the road accident victims. Therefore, become a good Samaritan and help in reducing the number of deaths due to accidents. Let's take a pledge to save the lives of people who are injured during the road accidents. Become a good and a responsible citizen. So this was the case study which needs urgent attention by not only the government but also by the citizens. Dear aspirants, as you know that Indian Express has two important initiatives. The UPSC key and the UPSC essentials. Make the best use of them. Scan the QR code at the end of the video. Also subscribe to the Indian Express to get more such videos. Remember, think smart, work hard, conquer your goals.